Kia ora whanau. Thought I would share my Halloween costume with you. You may recognise it. Just had some Halloween celebrations with the family, all but virtually. So, in the theme of Halloween, one more story. The ghost of Miss Annabelle Spoon. All right, hope you don't, don't, don't get too scared and I don't freak you out with my costume too much. Have you checked out my mono brow though? Pretty cool. All right, the ghost of Miss Annabelle Spoon. The village of Fee, seven miles from the sea, had a problem more awful than most. It was haunted and cursed, yes, the folk feared the worst, though the township was plagued by a ghost. No matter what hour, she lurked looking sour, be it midnight or mid-afternoon. Her dresses were shabby, her mood always crabby. Her name was Miss Annabelle Spoon. Oh, the horror, the panic. The townsfolk were manic. They suffered distemper and fits. It was dreadful to see every poor soul in Twee simply petrified out of their wits. Enough is enough, puffed the mayor in a huff to a crowd who were equally cranky. Things must be improved. Yes, she must be removed. Then he patted his head with a hanky. But how, asked the baker, they'll just have to make her, the school teacher said with a scowl. The doctor cried, ooh. We're doomed, don't you know? And the wind through the trees did it howl. But just at this juncture, a small voice did puncture the noise in the room like a spear. It said, I just thought I should... Sorry. It said, I just thought, I just thought that we ought to just ask the poor ghost why it's here. Well, the room, it did stop. You could have heard a pin drop, and the terrified mob seemed to settle. Then they all turned to see, who on earth could that be? It turns out it was young Herbert Kettle. Are you mad? asked the grocer. But Herbert said, no, sir. I think we should just ask her why. You're insane, spat the mayor, madly patting his hair. If you did that, you'd certainly die. But Herbert said, rot. And then he turned on the spot and he marched to the back of the hall. You may think I'm a fool, but I'll talk to the school. Wish me luck and good night to you all. Well, rumour was rife that when not causing strife, the ghost had a house in the woods. So in search of Miss Spoon, only lit by the moon, Herbert set off as fast as he could. Through the dark crooked trees, just as calm as you please, Herbert searched for the ghost through the night. Till he came to a dwelling, where he had no trouble telling all the rumours he'd heard had been right. That says Spoon, if you can't see, it's a name tag. And there is a house. Well, his nerve turned to butter as he peeked past the shutter and saw her sat there at the table. She was there in the gloom, quite alone in her room, looking spooky and somewhat unstable. Oh, he wanted to run, but his job was not done. You'll regret this, you dimwit. He swore, but although scared to death, Herbert held tight to his breath and he opened Miss Annabelle's door. Oops. Oh, he shook like a leaf, but to Herbert's relief, what he saw took away all his fears. Yes, to Herbert's surprise, from Miss Annabelle's eyes came a sudden appearance of tears. I'm so glad that you're here, said the ghost drawing near. Oh, I do hope you'll stay for some tea. 
I could make you some toast, maybe whip up a roast. Oh, I'm raving, just listen to me. Would you care for a scone? The ghost, she went on. I have baked some if only I'd known. Then she fell in a heap and she started to weep. I'm so tired of being alone. Well, it broke Herbert's heart when the ghost did impart. All I want in the world is a friend. But when I go out, people run, scream and shout. I'll be lonely, I'm sure, till the end. Oh, she wept and she wept for such sadness she'd kept deep inside her for such a long time. And with that, Herbert knew what a good lad should do. In the distance, a church bell did chime. The young man said, Miss, I can promise you this, if a friendship is all that you need. Well, you don't frighten me, you're as nice as can be. You can call me a friend, yes indeed. Poor Annabelle Spoon, well, she thought she would swoon. Really? she asked through her tears. Yes said the lad. That's the best news I've had, said the ghost, for the last hundred years. And that's how it ended. The ghost's heart was mended, for friendship was all that she craved. Her sadness diminished, the haunting was finished, the town had been properly saved. So if you're in Twee, seven miles from the sea, and you visit a tea room at noon, don't be unnerved if a table's reserved for the ghost of Miss Annabelle Spoon. Isn't that awesome? Hey guys, look, have a wonderful Monday. Hope you had a bit of fun for Halloween, and we'll see you online soon.